Hello, my name is Pamela Marks and I'm here from MarksvilleMe.com to tell you about a product from Ohua. This, these are their five pack of um, tissue paper flowers. You get uh, two large ones in two different color pinks, a dark pink and a light pink. And then you get three smaller ones in a dark pink and a light pink. And I don't believe they call it orange, but this is an orange color to us. And I wanted to show you how to do this. You can make them at home. And anybody who's made tissue, um, tissue flowers, pom-poms before knows that they take a while to do because you're folding. You gotta fold back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with your tissue paper to get this design. Um, and then you want to put a piece of string. They use string. Um, people use different products to just hold this together. Um, some people use rubber bands, you know, whatever you decide to do. Um, but if you don't have the time to do this, you're throwing a big party, you don't want to sit doing hundreds of these so that you can, you can just go out and purchase these like this and just have the fun. Instead of doing the work, you're just doing the fun. And what you want to do is kind of spread it out like this and then you're going to carefully because there's lots of tissue paper in here carefully you're going to just lift them now what I like to do is lift half one way and half the other way just so that um, you have even flour and once you get it all lifted then you can you know kind of puff them the way you want to and you know it'll make a really pretty flower. Um, kind of play with it until you, you know you get the design you love. Sometimes they'll rip, um, but if you were to see a carnation, it's not you know it's not going to be perfect. So if, if a piece rips, just smooth it out as much as you can, and um, it'll work okay. Um, every now and then I'll have one rip, but most of the time I don't have a problem with them ripping. Um, of course, now that I said that, I'll probably have one that rips. So if you want a pom-pom that goes all the way around, you're going to want to do both sides like I'm doing here. Uh, if you're going to make your own, depending on how thick and um, frilly you want your pom-pom, you know, you're going to, you know, maybe even fold it a bit more than what they did for these. But, you know, you kind of get the feeling so it's a pom-pom shape. And then you do the same with the other side. Like, I ripped that one a little bit. Like I said, once you have it all out, no one's going to be able to tell. So as you can see, probably fast forward a little bit just so I can finish this up for you. So if you want to do it one-sided, you could do them all so it's up one side and you have a really thick flower or you can do it on both sides to get more of a pom-pom effect and like I said you're gonna you know kind of play with it until you get your round design that you want you know it's tissue paper so you can do it you can leave it open like that so people can see that you know kind of like a pretty flower like that or you can do it closed like that so it looks like this kind of flower so it really depends on what you want to do you can hang them um you could put them you know in a um a bedroom if you're you have a teen and they change their rooms around a lot this is an inexpensive way to decorate their room they can put this little pom-pom you know around their mirror or around their doorway um maybe you know on their desk so it looks pretty um so like i said you can do it different ways you know it's up to you once you get going be a little creative and do what you you know what you'd like to do again if you wanted to hang this i would start you know where we saw the string i would put a longer piece in there and then work around it um so that's something you might want to look um into if you're interested in this product to make uh, making paper pom-poms a little easier check out the link in the product description below and i'll see you next time with a great product bye